Right now I'm going to demonstrate to you the difference between automatic and manual balancing in hydronic systems. Our system simulator is built as a dual riser system. Mirrored left and right side, manual balance on the right side, automatic balance on the left side. The system is laid out with set resistances to represent length of pipe. Each branch has a length of pipe resistance, a strainer, a resistance to represent the heat exchanger, manual balance valve, on-off temperature control valve, more resistance, and then a float style flow meter. Each branch is designed to be a 2 GPM. What I'm going to do is start the pump, similar to system startup. The system is wide open. As the pump ramps up, branch closest to the pump has the least resistance, so it has the greatest flow. Branch farthest from the pump has the most resistance, so it has the least flow. As we come into balance, we probe across our ports on the manual balance valve. We set differential pressure. In this case, we're going to balance to our flow meter. And you'll see that as we set additional resistance to the first branch, we're increasing flow to all the other branches. We move on to the second branch, adjust to 2 GPM, continue third branch, fourth branch. Generally, it takes about three balancing efforts to each valve. We continue on. Now our system is balanced at 100% flow. As our comfort settings are met and the thermostat turns off, we'll turn off the first branch. And one of the drawbacks of manual balancing is it can't compensate. Now there's higher pressure and we're seeing higher flow across the remaining branches. Furthermore, we'll turn off the next branch and you see we get even more flow to the third and fourth branches. We're not getting additional comfort, but we are losing that pump energy that we're just wasting by overflowing the system. Now we're gonna look at the automatic balance side. Same condition at system startup. Pump is turned on the first time. Now as the pump spools up, pressure increases in the system and once the automatic balance valves reach their required differential pressure, they'll deliver the set design flow. As, as you can see, everything comes in at 2 GPM. No multiple balancing attempts, it comes in automatically. Now I will say one thing, we're using Hayes combination valves for the demonstration. We do not have the electronic actuators on them just for a little ease. I'm gonna use a, just a manual lever arm to turn off the valve. Similar to what we showed with the manual side, as comfort gets met, thermostat turns off. Now with automatic balancing, we've held our two GPM set point. We turn off another branch. Again, the automatic valves adjust, balance the flow. So now we're at design flow to all the open branches. We're meeting our comfort requirement and we have that additional energy savings by not overflowing the pump. Now you've seen how manual balance valves can't control the system flow due to the interaction of other branches turning on and off. It's leading to poor flow conditions and an overflow condition at the pump. You've also seen how the automatic valves were able to hold the flow at design flow no matter how many branches cycled on and off. Clearly, automatic balance valves keep the system in balance at all design conditions.